Hey everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. When we last left off, I'm trying to remember the last thing that we did, I think we did, yeah, we did the contract for what was supposed to be some woodland beast, but it was actually some elves that were attacking uh, some caravans that were coming through. So that was the last thing that we did, I think we left off at that little refugee camp. And let's jump back into it. While searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. And as usual, I'm just accumulating quests like mad. Heathen. So many quests. Uh, so let's get a try to get a reminder of everything we got. So on our main quest, we have the Ladies of the Wood. We got to go find the the Crones in Crookback Bog. Same with Family Matters. This one is uh, collided with the Ladies of the Wood. So it seems like. Um, uh, Anna, I believe her name was. The wife was <clears throat> taken off by some beast, like, towards the crones, maybe? There's some connection point there. Uh, general quest here to follow Ciri's footsteps. This is to visit Triss in Novigrad. This one's to go to Skellige, and that's the DLC for our secondary quests. Oh. Oh, this is the one for finding Hannah in the woods. Oh, never mind. Maybe these don't collide. I I for oh no no no. This is a different one. This, this is Hannah, not Anna. So this is to find the hunter's wife. This one is for the fake papers to cross the river. That's to fix the shrines. This one is to follow up with Kira. Although I would assume at this point she's long gone. Uh, this one's that uh, those two guys. Praying to the all god dude at the altar. Uh, this is the fist fight people. This is to play specific people in Gwent. We started with the Baron, we still have the Soothsayer, and some random dude in Oraton. This is to help the Peller on Fike Isle. This one is the mine that's carrying some sort of plague monster. That the church guy, the eternal fire priest guy, sent us into. This one's to visit the soothsayer, so we need to play him in cards and just visit him in general. I don't remember why we're visiting him. But anyways, that's another one. Uh, that's to get all the cards in the game. That's to play the innkeepers. We beat Stepan. Olivier is the next. This one's to get some blacksmith tools. I believe that was in Skellige. This one... What was this one again? Oh, this is some, like, troll or whatever that's, like, singing? <laughs> that is also killing people or something? But it might just be a... War trick. And then we have our contracts. This one's for the missing brother. We found the cave, I believe. It says no entry. That's a little weird. Uh, Jenny of the Woods... That one's near Mid Cups. This one, Beast of Honorton. This is for the Shrieker near Crow's Perch. We saw some guards talking about that one. Uh, the Drunk? What's this one? Some monster. Oh, that's killing people, I guess, in town. All right, anyways. Uh, and then that's a creature in the Oxenford Forest. For our treasure hunts, we have, uh, this is the dead person we found at the ruins, who like hid some treasure somewhere in another ruins, and then we got the cat school gear. All right, that's everything we have going on. Just, just a few things. Um, hmm, where are we gonna start? Where are we gonna start? Maybe. Well, let's let's do the ladies of the wood. I think that's the best one. So if we look at our world map, that's gonna send us way down there. Oh geez. 
All right, so maybe we'll go like through this town over here. Okay, maybe we'll go to the burned ruins and go from there. Oh, I don't even have a fast travel near here. All right, I'll go to the hangman's tree. Actually, if I'm going to go to the hangman's tree, maybe I'll just go all the way. We'll check that out and that out, and then we'll take the road down. That's our plan, I guess. And then we'll probably find like 20 more quests on the way and get distracted by those. So, well, I'm next to this. I may as well check it out. What do we got? Help good people. Is there a drop? Oh, we've seen this. Missing Georgie Lessick. Georgie Lessick, if you make it to this camp, be sure to leave a message. I don't know how much longer I'll stay. But perhaps we'll meet. Don't look for your dog. He's dead. Make sure. Okay, we know that one. Beware, the enemy lurks within. Yeah, we've seen that. Family missing. Name's Bert Smith. Born in Mead Town in Lower Tamaria. Looking for my family. We got separated on our way north. After the riots, in light of yesterday's incident and the conflict between men from Adern and Tamaria that caused it, refugees are hereby ordered to separate into groups based on country of origin. We've seen that. In Camp Guard, the commander of the Rodanian Regiment is organizing a Camp Guard. Anyone help, wanting to help keep the peace in the camp should report to the Quartermaster at once. Volunteers will receive weapons. I've seen, we've seen that. All right, nothing new here. Air white is curd. Ah, curd. I would have the spot. Amazing. Not at all. Transit passes at terrific prices. Beware, freak. All righty. Get in here, Roach. I always forget I have that, like, trophy just hanging on the side. <laughs> like, what is that on the side of Roach? Oh, yeah, it's just like a big head. Oh, bandits. Hi, guys. Wait, what am I holding? What is this? I have, like, a mace. Alright, I don't know. Anyways. Where'd they go? Hello, gentlemen. Oh, I still have this mace. What is this? What is this, and where did I get it? I'm holding. I don't know when I got this, <laughs> or why I'm using it, but I am. All right, I want this back. Yeah, face me. Ignite. Ignite. I left my sword. Oh, did I? Well, no, because I have my other sword. Or maybe I did. Well, I had this lying around. Wow. Anyways, I guess I have a mace. I don't know if I can go back and get it. But if we're in that direction, I'll get Come it. On. But I have a decent sword. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, I forgot to loot these guys. She robbed my sword, I guess. Yeah, I guess they didn't give it back. At least they didn't take my silver sword. Then I'd be very upset. Why can't I loot this? They call you freak, but everybody and their mother needs your help. I know, right? Get up! Wait, this isn't my horse. Who are you? He's like, whatever. You're better than my last owner. Hi, Roach. Sorry, I didn't mean to betray you. Come on! If they took my silver sword, then we'd have to commit some murder. That is indeed true. They were not foolish enough to do that. But they did take my steel sword, apparently. Alright, we're just gonna fast travel, speed this up slightly. So, we'll go to the burned ruins, I suppose. Let me throw a marker there, because I wanted to check this out. Actually, is that any closer? 
It's almost the same distance. You know what? Screw it. Let's just... Oh, let's just climb it. Why not? Um, we're just gonna go there. Faster. This guy. Or, or his cousin. Well, I guess we may as well check this too. Alright, what we got? From the innkeep. You'll buy your drinks at the inn at the crossroads with Novigrad crowns. We'll take no other coin. We don't do tabs either. No exchanges save for food or drink. If anyone doesn't like that, they can go rut for acorns. Forefather's Eve approaches. Twill soon be Forefather's Eve. Tormented souls, souls who've not known rest after death, hungry, tired, scared ghosts. They'll soon walk among us. We'll carve the jacks and send them to the next world with chant, chant, prayer, and kind words. Prepare yourselves, the Peller. Warning, good fog if you see any wonders hanging in the woods, such as treats fit for Yule time dangling off branches, ginger bakings, honeyed apples, fritters, or pies, then no matter how fierce your belly growls, turn back. Whoever partakes of those treats is never seen among the living again. Warning, watch what you say, the trees have ears, a kind stranger. Warning, in lonely woods, screams carry long, shadows creep far in deep dark dale. Beware ye, then the grove's wild song, or in the wild will end your tale. And help us send him off to whomever has eyes to read. The other day our Falibor died. We've no means to bury him properly. Not a white shirt in the house, nor cloth for a shroud, nor planks for a coffin. If there's aught you can spare, help, please. If we don't send him off to the next world proper like, he'll haunt us and all. He'll haunt us all in revenge, Nasty. Right, I think we saw some of those before, but nothing new. Come on, Roach. Should be at that bandit camp I cleared out before. We Dad are. Sits in the old oak tree. Grew inside her with devilish glee. Drink it down. Oh, well, they moved back in. Let's see. So from here, yeah, we go this way. And I actually go on foot. I haven't been this way. We'll walk it. Wow, that dude threw his knife like super high in the air and then just casually caught it. It's kind of slick. Did the Nilf Guardians care before when I took their stuff? Eh, I guess we don't need to find out. I don't think they Maybe actually that's did. True. You convinced? Nah. Actually, let's see. Sometimes they talk to me. I'm busy, busy man. Fine. I don't like you anyway. Some sort of watchtower. Oh, bandit camp. Get him! Come on! Ah, as it should have. <laughs> Oh, you got no more stamina. Oh, no, sort of. <laughs> I will never tire. 
Whoa, oh, the heck, I like blocked that and it worked, but like staggered me or something? That was weird. Yeah, it's. I guess it's just running me out of stuff. Stamina or whatever. Heavy swings! Try to block that, huh? I'm pretty sure I had a much better sword before. This thing's kind of weird. Whatever. Oh! Took both the legs. One was not enough. I required both. Oh, there we go. Maybe we got a replacement. Oh, there we go. That's a big upgrade. I'll take it. Hopefully we're closer to what we had. Alright, they got one of those... Where is it? They seem to have one of those things that gives you... Uh... Oh, actually that might just be a bandit camp symbol. I thought it was one of those things that lets you um, enhance your stuff. Assassin's Trousers, formula for Aether. Practice Gauntlets. Alright, this appears to be complete. Alrighty, well, may as well check out this town. It's like a church, maybe? Some sort of potentially church or something. Still fighting people without pants? That's where we're at right now. We haven't uh, leveled up high enough for, for enemies with pants. Those are too hard for us. Give us a little time. Alright, well, it's not a church, some sort of like cemetery, mausoleum. With guardsmen's boots for some reason. have this little town and they also have a notice board which probably means we're getting more quests because we love quests can't get enough this is Lindenvale oh, I want to talk to this grave digger hey buddy best give crow perch a wide berth I've been there it's not that bad me muscles? <laughs> she's trying to be mosey from Star Wars uh, that white one. That's a interesting position. See, it's not my fault when I go and take people's possessions. It's their fault for having highlighted the chest for me to see with my Witcher senses. See, they just left everything outside for me. See, that's just them telling me that it's okay to take those things. Lighting stuff was on sale. Five finger discount. Oh, hey, I calcium equum. I needed that for something. What did I need that for? I need it for one of these things. 
Ah, grape shot. That's what I needed it for. Cool. Silver damage and fire damage. Inflicts shrapnel damage to foes within its explosion radius. Deals a small amount of fire damage. Destroys monster nests. I like the sound of that. Any other things I can make while I'm in here? Mm, vampire oil. Well, I don't plan on fighting any vampires anytime soon, but when I do, I'm ready. And I can make the cat potion. Grand sight and total darkness increases critical hit chance. Seems pretty good to me. I'll take it. White honey clears toxicity and cancels all active potion effects. Sure. White Rafford's decoction immediately or immediately restores a portion of vitality. That sounds good as well. Cool. That should come in handy. Nearabouts mid cops, and a heap of monsters roaming about it. Thank you for the tip, my good man. Sent my youngins to pick mushrooms yesterday. To the woods? Alone? You know how it is. I've too many mouths to feed. What kind of mother are ye? More food for the rest now. <laughs> Jeez. It's a hard people. Oh, this person's having a bad time. You right there, old man? Ooh. Oh, sorry. Well, there you go. You're welcome. I cured you of your coughing. Your items have been enhanced. Beautiful. Hello, blacksmith. Trusty arms for all sorts. Steel swords and strong maces for the menfolk. And grave knuckle dusters for the ladies. <laughs> knuckle dusters for the ladies? Are you a master weaponsmith? Master quality weapons. You capable of making them? Who do you think I am? A Tory. A Tory? The master craftsman of Novigrad. Why, everyone's heard of him. Says he's retired now, so no. Ain't no one can do what you ask. Show me what you got. Show me your wares. He's got... A saddle with 35 stamina. That might actually be better than mine. Oh, and what are these? Slightly torn notes by Hieronymus on the Witcher Elgar. And Aldebert Kermith's fourth map. Oh, I think that's for the cat school gear. All right, buy that, for sure. Let's see, what weapons? Let's just sell all these. And maybe some junk. Nah, all that's good junk, so to speak. All right, and then I gotta check my saddle bag, or is it saddle? No, saddle, 35 stamina. So long. 
New quest of swords and dumplings. Because we needed more quests. We didn't have enough to do. Swords and dumplings. To a witcher, a sword is like a lover. He must caress it, care for it, devote some time to it each night. But as with lovers, there are times one comes across a specimen so superior that not one's own... And not one's own that one cannot help but consider replacing the old with the new. Geralt was fully aware of these principles, so when he heard about the legendary swordsmith named Hattori, a single... Or a tingle ran down his spine. Butterflies took flight in his stomach, and he resolved to find the craftsman. Talk to Hattori in his dumpling shop. Interesting. Alright, we got another quest. Some master crafter. What about these items I picked up? It seems Elgar hid some upgrades to his gear in the area around Kaer Morhen. Some he hid in the deepest cave he could find, the one in the northern portion of the Kaer Morhen Valley. Others he hid in the abandoned crumbling watchtower in the same area. Still others he placed amidst the rocks on the shore of the valley's lake. And Aldebar Kermit's fourth map. The trail of symbols relating to the Cat School of Witchers led me to four additional locations marked with the same sign. I was not surprised. I was not surprised to see that the pictograms found in each do not differ from the one Professor Atomstein discovered in the caverns beneath Temple Isle. As instructed, I have marked these locations on this map. Adelbert Kermith, adjunct in natural history at the Oxenfurt Academy. Alright, I assume that's two more quests. Scavenger hunt for the wolf school gear. And scavenger hunt... Cat school gear, upgrade diagrams, part four. Oh, and part two. For wolf school. Oh, actually, probably got three. He mentioned three parts for wolf school. But only two there. Interesting. I think those are in treasure hunts. Yes. Gathering a good set of gear is a matter of life and death for a witcher. It came as no surprise then that Geralt was delighted when he picked up the trail of a high-quality bit of wolf school equipment. And it likewise came as no surprise when he decided to follow this trail. That's a level 14 scavenger hunt for the wolf school gear. There's apparently six of them. And we got part four. During one of his numerous adventures, Geralt got his hands on a map... Map covered with strange markings. He quickly deduced that they indicated the locations of hidden witcher caches, and intrigued by the chance of discovering long lost crafting schematics, he set out to find them. Alrighty. Um, so I was gonna check my saddle. Alright, oh, it's over here. What am I doing? My saddle gives 40. I have better. Alright. Trusty arms for all sorts, steel swords and strong maces for the menfolk, and grave knuckle dusters for the ladies. Shannies, do you ever have a set number of missions you want to complete in a stream, or do you just go with the flow? I just go with the flow. I don't worry about it too much, I just try to have fun. How come you don't have wolf gear already? He is a wolf. Yeah, it's a little weird. Craft something for me? I'd like you to craft something for me. Can you make anything good? Crossbow bolts. Silver swords I don't need. Steel sword, maybe? Ah, oh, these actually kind of suck. Oh, that one's pretty good. We could just make it right now. 76 to 94 damage. I still would like to know what happened to mine, but we'll go ahead and make this. Thanks, buddy. So long. All right. Well, our sword problem was not a problem for too long. If it had been the relic weapon they took, that would have been an issue. But we're all set. All right. One last thing. Trusty arms for all sorts. Steel swords and strong maces for the menfolk, and grave knuckle dusters for the ladies. How about we play some Gwent? For ten coins. We get some cards in too, I'll be a happy man. 
Apparently my reputation does not precede me. He thinks he has a chance. I am ready. Oh my god, two decoys. A spy, we got that melee dude, we got another spy. And we got Yennefer, what a pool. Uh, let's go. Actually, I don't need two decoys. Maybe we drop one of them. Let's drop a decoy. Fighting Frost? Could come in handy. I don't have a ton of melee. And maybe we'll reroll her. Starting with ranged. Well, let's give him a spy. Oh, I got a horn. Nice. What else did I get? Oh, and I got another melee, dude. Here, I have another spy. Oh, we got a whole bunch of siege. You know, I could do Biting Frost. You know what? Screw it. Let's just win the round. Why not? Drop them down to 11 points. Wait, 11? No. Eh, maybe I'll just give it to him. I want to give it to him. Let's just win. That did some serious damage to him. Let's just win. Well, I've got them to commit a lot. They've only got four cards left. I'll just pass. You can have that round. Now he has no chance. No reason to fight uphill. Oh, I could have even decoyed that card out. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. He's outmatched. He's outmatched. In fact, I could bring that card out with Yennefer. Maybe I will. He has absolutely no shot. Uh, guess we'll just play my melee. He's passed. Well, I already won the round, so I'll just pass as well. He's got one card. I don't think he's going to win this one. But, you know I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy. I have to be. <laughs> Pass. No, 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 no. We destroy you. That's what we do. It's not just enough to beat you. You have to regret ever having come here. Much better. 58. I like that. There's literally a trophy for being that guy? How did I not get it then? I've been that guy so many times. Philippa Eilhart. Eilhart? What deck is she in? Philippa. I really hate that they don't tell you which deck they're in. You just gotta find it. I mean, maybe by the names I could start to figure it out. Wait, oh, she's in, oh, 
Oh, she's a Northern Realms hero? Oh, jeez. Alright, I'll take another hero card. Why not? Uh, let's take somebody out. Uh... Hmm... I do like all these cards. Oh, I have three Blue Stripes Commandos? We can remove one of those. Let me make sure that was the one I wanted, though. Why can't I go to all? There we go. I think that's the one I wanted to get rid of. I guess I could have gotten rid of her instead. Actually, you know what? I'd rather get rid of her. Or him. Yeah, let's actually take him back. I like having three of these. So add that. We'll drop... We'll drop him. Move that. Philippe looks like a badass. Philippa. Let's see, what's her description? Soon the power of kings will wither, and the lodge shall seize its rightful place. Alright, I'm happy with that. The legend of that guy. Known throughout the realms as someone no one wants to interact with. Once he's beaten you, he won't just give up. He will keep going. You have to get like 287 in a round? My god. That... I don't even know if I can be that guy to that extent. He'll beat you in Quint and then rob your house. Pretty much. That's my Geralt. But I will kill the monsters for you. And I won't even really haggle that much with you. So there is that. I'm not all bad. I will kill the monsters. I'll only haggle with you if you're uh, particularly evil. What's going on here? War is coming. Hark! Afore the last full moon, I saw the wild hunt dash across the sky. Tis a sign, war is coming, and with it no end of disease and misfortune. Plead the gods to spare us, for without their favor we shall most certainly perish. Millie. An herbalist's advice. Fair folk, if hunger pains you such you cannot think another thought, tear up fresh mint leaves and chew them thoroughly. Sucking their oils will numb the pain and keep you going till your next meal. Deirdre. Addendum. Hooch works well too, I've heard. Said. Foul potato eating pestilence. Watch out, good folk. Some damned pestilences eating our taters. Taint beetles, but somewhat else. Some kind of pox that turns the leaves black. Such or as soon as you eye such leaves, tear them up and burn them at once, or we'll lose the whole harvest. Monster in my manor. Good people, my ancestral farmstead, reared in the state is infested with monsters. The manor house and all the surroundings have been occupied, leaving one most dreadfully afraid to even take a peek, let alone live therein. That manor is all that I have left to cherish in this life, so I plead for mercy. Whoever can find the charity in their soul to help an old woman in need, come see me, and in return you shall receive my eternal gratitude. Dolores Reardon. Contract on, gods know what on. Good folk. Walking the woods recently, I spied some odd tracks and couldn't for the life of me figure out what left them. Even though I've many a hunt under my belt, you know me, I'm not one to make a fuss. But I can't help but reckon they bode ill and we should all be on guard. And if anyone's seen something or figures he can identify the tracks, come see me. There's a reward. Huntsman of Livendale. Or Lindenvale, rather. Contract Monster in the Cemetery. People of Lindenvale and thereabouts. If you've got any notion of wandering over to the graveyard, rid yourself of it at once, for some evil's taken it over, digging up graves and doing other such damage. Lately, it's begun preying on whoever, or preying on any who enter, and has even kidnapped the miller's lad. 
So if you have an ounce of sense, stay far from it. And if you have the courage and skill, slay the monster for us. And your efforts will be surely rewarded. Or will surely be rewarded, by them. <clears throat> Alright, we have more quests! Okay, we got that, and... That. So, contract. Like rain. The Merry Widow. Contract! Mysterious tracks. And the fall of the House of Reardon. Three more quests! You guys were not lying about the quests in this game, my god. Alright, so we have the Merry Widow. Geralt took a contract. The gravedigger of Lindenvale had hung on the village's notice board. It seemed the village cemetery was full of monsters who seized children as their victims. Then we have the mysterious tracks. In the village of Lindenvale, Geralt came across a highly unusual contract. A certain hunter was worried by some strange tracks he had found in the woods and sought someone who could help him determine to whom or to what they belonged. And there's one other one. I think it's in my secondaries. The fall of the house of Reardon. Ask Dolores about the monsters in a manor. Alrighty. Oh, is this the fist fighting ring? Fellow like you's got to be experienced. Will you fight Stanfish Gulper? I think this is the one I already have. Let me see. I'm gonna save this for a little bit later. I'm trying to like stay somewhat focused, otherwise I'm gonna be all over the place. But I think this is Yep, yeah, this is it. So let's stick with what we've been doing. The ladies of the wood. This be the witch, man. Oh. Open nature. Oh. More interesting things from my. Nature. What are you looking at? <laughs> Bothering us poor folk. Uh -huh. Announcement: The inhabitants of the villages of Downwarren and Lindenvale are hereby ordered to report to the Nilfgaardian Army Group Center Camp to perform labor for the Empire. Lists of assigned residents and their designated days of service have been provided to the village yieldermen. Those cultivating their duties shall be flogged. Commander, Army Group Center Camp. Baron gets soused. He gets angry, and he's always drinking. Hello, and keep. Greetings. Show me your wares. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. What's this? Another commander's horn? Sure. Why not? Oh, actually, I think I have some junk that he would buy. Yes, I do. Have my junk. I normally don't offer them so willingly. Rick's my best. Thank you, my friend. And welcome to the stream. It's good to have you. Good to see you. I am currently drowning in side quests. Oh, he doesn't have enough money. I ran him out of money? Holy crap. Oh, it's not one. All right, surprisingly, this guy doesn't play Gwent. Farewell. Alright, let's see. Where did I come from again? I came from over there. Alright, that's a pretty small place. Okay. Yeah, that's where that girl was, I think. Yeah, that's the great thing. Okay. Let's get in my bearings. Oh, 
All right. Hello, another merchant. What? What are you offering? Got anything interesting? What is this Tristiana and Isidore? I'll buy it. We've got saddlebags, but those are weak. Some Gwent cards. Poor fucking infantry. I'll take it. Aetolian Auxiliary Archers. They're Nilfgaardian. Black Infantry Archer. Nilfgaardian. Nilfgaardian again. Heavy Zeracanian Fire Scorpion. And Rainfarn. Also Nilfgaardian. Okay. I saw him some more junk. Good. Uh, let me see what this item is. Otherwise, I'll forget. Farewell. What was this item? Tristiana and Isidore. Tristiana did not care a whit for her stepmother's admonitions. She would toss off her ragged foot wrappings and walk barefoot instead. She would wear coviri lace and batik knickers under her rough hair shirt. And when dusk fell and the other novices dutifully went to their or went to offer their evening prayers, she would slip off quietly and run down to the bay, where Isidore awaited her. This merry devil was thick as a barn and had hooves instead of feet. But Tristiana, like him, liked him all the same, I assume you meant to say, more than anyone else in the world. For him, she broke off her betrothal or betrothal, and defied her family's will. She knew that if their bond was ever discovered, both she and Isidore would be burned at the stake. And so in the dark hours of night, she planned their escape. And that's a quest? No. Not sure why it shows as a quest item, but okay. <laughs> Thick as a barn, that's right. What? How about a game of Gwent? A game of Gwent. How about it? Your opponent will go first. Good. I got a decoy. I got rain. I got a horn. I got a spy. It's a pretty good hand. I don't even know if I necessarily want anything else. Nah, I'm happy with that. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. I meant to cancel but oh well I got a trebuchet it'll work have a spy Oof. I've got a, a nasty round in my future that's for sure Just give them this one. Mm, nah, let's make them work for it a little bit. Let's see what else he plays. He hasn't played anything good. Oh, he passed. Well, I'll just take the win then. We'll do it with. I guess we could play him. I got another melee dude. All right, well, I don't think that this dude's gonna be able to compete on me on any level. I don't believe it. Yeah, 
I'm gonna be pushing like. No. He did that, that's fine. I don't care about that. He hurt himself too. Hurt me a little bit more, but boom. Oh, he's fogging it too. Well, he's still not gonna win. He's giving it a go though. Crap, he has more firepower than I realized. I Man, I guess he could rain, but then I have more cards. No. <laughs> he just threw the game. He's like, nope, I can't. I can't go on. And of course, I gotta be that guy. Win convincingly. I got a gargoyle. Now the real question is, do I have enough for a Nilf Guardian deck now? I might. Let's see. Oh, these guys are Nilf Guardian too. Interesting. Kilo, thank you. Now rob his house and eat his food. <laughs> I think I already did rob his house. Let's see. I got three, six, nine, twelve. 15. Oh, we're getting close to being able to make a Nilf Guardian deck, but we're not quite there. We're still stuck in Northern Realms. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I robbed his house and stole his... Oh, wait, I can't because it's locked. That's right. Sorry, I'm not able. Otherwise, I would. I'd rob him blind. Just for being a baby who didn't bet the maximum. Should have bet his entire livelihood on that Gwent game. If I don't win it, I will take it by force. Oh, son. All right. So as usual, we picked up even more quests. But maybe, maybe. We might just finish one. Let's mark that. I want to check that out on the way. You never know. We might actually, like, finish a quest. <laughs> Maybe even a couple. I'm on a pace of about acquiring ten quests to every quest I finish at the moment. I think we should probably flip that a little bit. Oh. Whatever filth lives here sure chose an unusual place for its lair. This is that other quest. Alright, we're gonna come back to this. That's where we do that one. camera angle in this game is unlike any I've ever played. I don't quite know how to describe it. It's like off center. It's it's a little strange. It makes it so you're like you're um you never like really look up. If anything, I call it like panoramic. The view is like panoramic in this game. I found a guarded treasure. Who's guarding it? A bear. I oh, only got some beast oil. Beast oil. I guess I. Do I fight these with long uh, steel sword or silver? I guess they're not monsters, so it'd be steel. This could take a little while. We'll see. Ow. Jeez. Don't mess around with 
him. Okay, calm down. like an attack it just looks like he like nose booped me nose boop have your health gone Hey Christy, welcome to the stream. Good to have you, glad you can make it. Had Winnie Gambison, that's not a particularly great reward, but hey, whatever. All right, let's check this place out next. I wanna stick to the road. I don't know why. It's not like the road's any safer. I just feel like sticking to the road. If anything, I'd say the roads have been the most dangerous place. <laughs> loved, your ho uh, loved your Hogwarts streams? Awesome. Glad to hear. Hopefully you like the Witcher streams. Very different game. Sometimes I feel like... Um, Sometimes I feel like a narrator on this game, <laughs> like a or narrator is not quite the right word because I guess I'm always a narrator, but more like a like I'm just like uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm like basically reading an ebook to you all <laughs> in some cases, like an audible recording. That's that's basically what I am. Audiobook. There you go. Thank you. I words are difficult for me today apparently. What did you say? Level three? You fools! You gonna be level threes and face a witcher? How could you be so silly? <laughs> he shot his own friend. <laughs> Dude, you made a huge mistake. What are you doing with your life? Well, that was easy. It showed as a quest, though. Why did it show as a quest? I don't know if that was an insult, Miss Chin. They might have just heard what I was up to in town. Maybe he was like praising me. Maybe that was like him trying to get me on his good side. I didn't mean it good sir. Tobias, hello my friend. How are you? Hey, we're getting closer. Soon we may engage in the trail of treats. them treats I might favorite treats 
Favorite candy, everybody. What is it? I'm thinking mine's probably Starburst. It's gotta be Starburst or Carmelo. Or Milky Way. I do like caramel. Warheads. Interesting. I do like Warheads, but I think I'm in the minority, and I must admit, I've not had one in a very, very long time. Okay. This is not the type of treats I had in mind. What is this? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, like maggot cookies? Gross. This is not the type of treats I had in mind. I hope the kids are not eating this. I don't seem to be able to interact with that, so I guess I just keep going. I mean, if the Trail of Treats literally follows this trail, that's gonna be a bit unsatisfactory. They made it seem like it was like this secret trail through the bog and you just had to follow the treats and it's like just a legitimate trail. That'd be very disappointing. in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. I'm looking for a witch. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. What are you doing in the swamp? What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. <laughs> Kinda like that kid. What are you, stupid or something? Of course there's orphans. Ever seen an ashen-haired woman around here? A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You could see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. <laughs> uh... This girl's in trouble. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. 
But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny, ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Are you a witch? Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay, <laughs> I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gran's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our kids are so sweet. You take care of the kids? You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. I'm looking for someone. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Please help me. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Weird. Character entry added for Gran. Must updated Ladies of the Woods. Why is this kid pushing me around? Alright, let's look at... Oh, not inventory. Glossary characters. Gran. In times of war, one often encounters those who have suffered cruelly at the hands of fate. Geralt was thus not shocked to meet the woman who the children in the Velen swamps called Gran, though she seemed to have suffered manifold unspecified ills. Whatever her woes, it was clear she cared for the war orphans and her charge with love and devotion. And maybe fed them maggot cookies. That seems very loving. Alright, where are we at on this? Go to the hut and talk to the boy. Information found in the home of Hendrik, the Nilfgaardian agent, indicated Siri had entered into conflict with some witch in Velen. At first, Geralt thought this witch was Kir Kiramets, but he later learned Hendrik had meant a different individual, one who dwelt in Crookback Bog. So the witcher ventured into the swamps, determined to find this bog-dwelling witch and ask her about Ciri. I think it's the old lady, but we'll see. She's too weird. New marker, the orphans of Crookback Bog. Okay. Journey to the end of the world. Sirens, the harpy's distant relatives, are winged monsters found in the Skellige Archipelago, most frequently on unpopulated isles or in the inaccessible coastal areas of populated ones. According to legend, they are daughters of the mythical winged giant Crossvelg, who lives on the edge of the world and births gales with the waving of his wings. Crossvelg's daughters seek out the company of giants and often make their nests near their lairs. These creatures attack boats and ships from the air, tearing sails and rib rigging to shreds and rendering the vessels immobile. At times, they will snatch men or cattle from the deck and drop them from great heights to their death. They also attack travelers trekking across isolated beaches. That's something... You guys ever seen those... Um, oh, bestiary entry added for harpies. You guys ever seen those videos? Oh, and Arrhenios. And Sirens. And succubi. <laughs> uh, have you guys ever seen those videos of those, um, I think they're eagles that, like, pick up, uh, I can't remember if they're goats or deer and just, like, <laughs> drop them off the cliff. It's, uh, 
It's pretty crazy. I think it's they do it to goats. Oh, they could be wrong. Either way, it's pretty brutal. Uh, let's see. I had some bestiary or bestiary entries. So those are in hybrids. First we have Arrhenius. A merchant once told me I reminded him of an Arrhenia. Naturally, I immediately teleported him to one of their nests so he could see for himself how ill-fitting a comparison it was. Lita Ned, or Need, a sorceress also known as Coral. Hard as it is to imagine, the Arrhenius found in Skellige are even more repulsive and dangerous than Harpies, their close relatives. Though well-rotten carrion is their food of choice, they will not turn up their noses at fresh meat, man flesh included. When they spy a potential victim, Arrhenius, like Harpies or Shishigas, will try to make full use of the strength of their numbers and their ability to control the skies. They will circle above their prey, then attack from several directions at once, striking with Razor Shark... Shark? <laughs> I think that's a misspelling. Striking with Razor Shark talons and tearing their targets to shreds. While attacking, they aim for the neck, eyes, and other vital organs, often causing their prey to bleed to death as a result. In this way, a small flock of Arrhenius is able to make quick work of larger and better armed victims, who often are not able to defend themselves effectively from several opponents attacking at once. Alright, they're weak to grape shot, which I just made. Hybrid oil, and Ard. And we have griffins, which we've seen. Harpies. Most monsters don't actually keep any treasure in their lairs. Harpies, though, they like shiny things. Letho, Viper School Witcher. It is hard to say what is most repulsive about harpies and their cousins, the Shishigas. Their hideous appearance, the overwhelming stench of rot and bird excrement that clings to them, or their blood-curdling screech. Suffice it to say that even rats, who dwell happily among the rankest fecal matter and rotten waste, give their nests wide berth. Harpy nests are most often found atop high cliffs or rocky ravines. Sure signs of having strayed near one are crumbling human and animal remains, guano-streaked rocks and feathers littering the ground. Harpies and Shishigas hunt in flocks consisting of a handful to up to 20 individuals. Though rather cowardly and cautious, Harpies fiercely defend their nests and will not hesitate to attack when outnumbering their foes. During combat, they use their ability to fly to dive swiftly to strike their victims one by one before soaring back up and out of reach. They can kill with their wings or their sharp beak and talons. Once on the ground, they move, sh they move slowly and clumsily, and thus no longer present much of a threat. And same vulnerabilities, I'm guessing. Yes. All right, then there's the sirens. Not quite as ugly. Out at sea, if you hear a beautiful woman singing, turn the ship around at once, you understand? Even if it means sailing straight back into a storm. Arike of Hindersval. Or Hindersval. Advice given to a son before his first solo voyage. Like skilled hunters seeking out wooden ducks to lure in drake sirens and... Wait, what? Like skilled hunters setting out wooden ducks to lure in drakes, sirens and lamias lure men near, using their own bodies as decoys. They can transform to resemble beautiful human maidens, though with tails covered in silver scales instead of legs. Once a naive sailor gets within arm's reach of these beautiful creatures, their fair faces suddenly turn to fang-filled, fish-like maws and lovely tails promising unknown delights become sharp, death-dealing talons. One legend claims sirens and lamias were once friendly towards men, and supposedly were even known, albeit on rare occasions, to accept some sailors' clumsy attempts at courtship. In our day, however, they are decidedly aggressive, perhaps soured by the numerous kidnappings of carried out by frustrated sea salts. Whatever the truth, one thing is certain. These days, the monsters display no signs of goodwill, and so when spotting them, one should immediately reach for one silver sword. Sirens and lamias, the sirens' more dangerous cousins, usually hunt in flocks, making use of their numbers as well as their ability to move effort effortlessly through water and air. Weak, weak to grape shot, hybrid oil, igni, and ard. And finally, we have the succubi. Again? Good grief, woman, I'm spent. Lester of Smallton to a succubus a few days before taking a vow of celibacy. Unlike other monsters, succubi and monads feel no desire to kill, do not crave human blood, and usually do not, in fact, mean any harm at all. They are motivated, motivated by one thing and one thing only, an insatiable lust. They try in vain to slake this by engaging in sexual acts with any other humanoid species they encounter. 
While it must be admitted that their victims rarely put up much resistance, this does not mean succubi and monads do not present any danger. Their never-ending advances, though pleasurable at first, have pushed more than one man to madness or even death. <laughs> this is this is death by schnoo schnoo. <laughs> Succubi and Manage usually can be found near human settlements, including small villages and populous cities. They prowl at night, though when stricken by serious need, they will leave their lairs during the day as well. They shower their affections on men as well as women, the young as well as the old, the ugly as well as the beautiful. Some of them are particularly fond of pastors and other holy men, whose seduction they treat as a sort of game. Though succubi are peaceful by nature, when forced to fight, they will defend themselves fiercely. One should thus not be fooled by their fair appearance. Under the velvety skin of their arms lies muscles of iron, and a blow delivered with their rear. Goat-like legs or the thick horns on their head can easily crush bone. Oh, wait. I missed some of this? Oh, yeah, I missed the bottom of this. So for sirens, on the ground, however, they are virtually defenseless, and so a wise tactic is to damage their fin-like wings to force them to land. The Igni sign also proves effective when fighting against them. Threatened or injured sirens will let out a terrifying shriek, leaving their opponents stunned while they escape. And their sisters swoop down for an easy attack. And the Harpies did not have that. And Iridius did not. All right. All right, that was all of the new bestiary entries. I feel like Geralt will be particularly uh, susceptible to that. stuff. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Where can I find this Johnny? Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Find a way to lure Gran away from the hut. I actually missed what that said. Something updated. Oh, I'm actually... Wait, ask the children in the swamp village about Johnny. Alright, I will do that. Uh, and also, there was one other thing I wanted to do. There was that um, dialogue thing. I might equip that. Where is it? I think it's in the general category, but let's see. Gentle burst, rage management, steady shot, trick shot. Maybe it's not in here. Where was it? And frenzy. Melt armor, sustained glyphs, floating shield, delusion. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, wait, hold on. Also increases the effectiveness of Axie and dialogue. Yeah, this is the one I wanted. Uh, target does not move towards Geralt when he's casting Axie. That could actually be useful, too. Let's, uh, let's throw some points into this. And we'll put it in in place of um, 
I guess we don't need the extra vitality. Survival instinct can go. Alright, let's ask the kids. Or maybe I can't. Maybe that was Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have you ever seen Johnny? Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Gran ever hurt you? Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Says strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. Your friend's not afraid to go in the woods. Why? The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. Help me out? The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. Alright, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Isn't there something else you want? Is there something else you need or want? Ooh, I want something sweet. Me too. Or oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum. Never eaten nothing like this before in my life. Gran, Gran, Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse. Gran, come. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you afraid? Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are your parents? Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved, others were killed, like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? And then my mom. It's all right. That's enough. Poor kid. Where's Johnny? I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you.
quest updated. Look for Johnny in the swamp using your witcher senses. All right. What are you on about? Who said ask? Hey, ugly word, ugly. Don't cry, Yakna. Yakna's a stupid pig. Name calling's not allowed. <laughs> she says, when I fall asleep, rats will come and eat my eyes. Shouldn't say that. Apologize. Arse. I'll stand here till you apologize to her and to me. I've got time. Sorry. Ain't no rats gonna eat your eyes. And I know we're not allowed to say dirty words. Good child. Apologies mean treats to please a belly needing to be put at ease. Oh. <laughs> Oops. What is this? What? Nothing for you here. Stay away from the kids. All right. Let's look at the map. Where am I going? Oh, not that far at all. Look, drowners? Drowners? Or are they something else? Oh, I think some of them are those hag things. Either way, they should all be weak to necrophage oil. Show me what you got. Your sense is real. He must leave Prince. What's this small footprint Johnny's been through here? Given me no choice. I'm getting faster at navigating the menus now. It's not as big of a deal to put on the, the oils. Get back here! What the hell? What's that all about? Okay. Well, I guess they knew better. I'm not picking anything up. Oh, there they are. afraid you're a bucka a luton ah a godling not many of you left I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair seen her 
Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You know the kids from the clearing well? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. You gotta know what goes on around here. This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? I like this guy. You can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? <laughs> I'm gonna be dumb. I don't understand. Try to explain. Can't understand you. Try to explain it somehow. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Want me to follow you? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. I like Johnny. We got an entry for Johnny. Let's take a look. No, not character. Okay, Johnny! When the children in the swamp clearing first told Geralt about Johnny, the Witcher had every reason to suppose no such person, person actually existed. It was difficult to imagine anyone living in such inhospitable surroundings without quickly becoming food for drowners or water hags. Geralt thus suspected Johnny was the figment of childish imaginations, an imaginary friend for lonely orphans. Long years of experience, however, told him not to ignore any possible lead, so he decided to search the nearby swampland for any additional signs of Johnny. It turned out the orphans were not lying. Johnny really did exist. He was not a human child, but a godling, one of a rare breed of creatures that can be found scattered about the continent's wildernesses. Unfortunately, Johnny had lost his voice in circumstances he obviously could not explain, and so neither could he provide much in the way of answers to Geralt's questions. Oh, and we got a bestiary entry for godlings. I'll check that out too. I have to fight these apparently at some point. By the way, is it bestiary or bestiary? I've, I've actually heard it pronounced both ways and I tend to say bestiary because that's just the way it's spelled. But I think it's actually bestiary. Anybody know? Let's see, where's my godling friends at? Oh, relics? Yeah, relics. Godlings, not too long ago, the areas around peasant hamlets were chock full of guardian spirits. Today, it's nigh unto impossible to spot a brownie, buka, or luton. And godlings, they are always the first to go. Such is the price we pay for civilization's forward march. From the preface to The World We Have Lost by Professor Dorigaray, I guess. Godlings, sometimes mistaken for Luton, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss-covered hollow stumps on the outskirts of human settlements. They are similar to children in behavior and appearance, and, like children, delight to mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but shy creatures by nature, they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocence, and so delight in the company of children and usually only show themselves to the young. These hard-working and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, asking only for respect and payment in the form of food or cast-off tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet when the village a godling watches over becomes too populous or its inhabitants forget the old ways. It will abandon its burrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. Did I 
They're just like protector people. Johnny's all right. You're all right, Johnny. I'm guessing he wants me to fight these? No, we're just gonna ignore those? All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Johnny's like, get to work. Get to work. I think I'm gonna take care of these drowners. That's your job, big man. Damn it. Oh! I can't wait to some, uh, something explosive back there. Oh, nice drowning tongues. I needed that for something. I just got three of them. <laughs> nice. Stay close to me. Oh, so it is bestiary. Okay. I was right then. I, a lot of people say bestiary, but I think that's because you would just think that's a, what it would be called. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> Johnny's like, yeah! Go give me my voice. Alright, Johnny, I gotcha. Reach the raven nest? Alright, Johnny, you seem like a swell guy, so I'll do it. You seem like a swell fellow. Oh, harpies! Oh boy. This should be interesting. They were weak to Ard. I guess that's will knock them out of the air. Let's start with the Quinn though. Down. Boom. Oh, stabbed him. Man, they are rough in the air. Right, Ard is definitely where it's at. Wyvern? Oh boy. You're new. Oh crap. Oh, knocked him down. Axie. Oh no! No! <laughs> I can't get his stuff. Oh wait, maybe I can. Yes, I can. Wait, maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that was another new beast. Pretty easy. That's a draconid. Wyvern. Most dangerous of all are the royal wyverns, or as they're called in some circles, the royal pains in the arse. Albina Tottelkampf, lecturer in natural sciences at Aratusa. Wyverns are often mistaken for dragons, and though they are much smaller than their more famous kin and do not breathe fire, they are likewise extremely dangerous monsters, especially feared are the so-called royal wyverns who, like their namesake, monarchs are exceptionally ornery and extremely deadly. Weak to golden oriole potions, grape shot bombs, draconid oils, and ard. Huh. Wonder what ard would do with him. He wasn't flying, although he did land. Maybe, maybe normally they fly and this one was being nice to me. C 
sealed bottle and a raven's head. This bottle. Alright, what the heck are these things? Quest items. Item needed to complete a quest, alright, and Raven's Feather. Not a whole lot of info. Celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Why did you lose your voice? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? <sighs> Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. How do you bottle someone's voice? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. Looking for a young ashen-haired woman. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice. So I don't think she heard me. Know anything about the crones? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. You must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. The woman from the village in the swamp. Who is she? I've been to the village in the swamp. Met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. So she went off towards the village. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. 
So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Let's go, Johnny. Hopefully this isn't part of his uh, defecating part of the morning. Because it looks like we might be on morning soon. I got that before. The thirty-three thieves thought we showed the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> oh, bunch of crows. Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I tell. You, you got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The ashen-haired woman. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please. It's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies love me. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Oh, 
dare you disturb our rest, woman? They speak through you? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I wanted to talk to you. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. She is like a daughter to me. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. What happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen earth maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The Alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now, our servant will bring you the dagger. Why do I need a dagger? A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. It's a deal. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, Mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. All right, we've been uh, requisitioned to kill another beast. <laughs> In some other place we haven't been. We've got a uh, new entry for Gran. Oh, and Johnny. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Once Geralt had helped him regain his voice, however, he talked up a veritable storm, giving the lie to all the tales of these legendary beings' supposed shyness. Johnny also agreed to convince Gran to put Geralt in touch with the ladies of the wood. And then Gran is here. Uh, whatever her woes, it was clear she cared for the war orphans in her charge with love and devotion. Geralt's first attempts to talk to her came to nothing. He was only able to break through her mistrust with the help of a godling named Johnny. A few words from the latter convinced Gran to help Geralt talk to the mysterious ladies of the wood. Alright, so. Our quest now leads to this village. Not too far from here. So I suppose we can continue on to do talk to the Elderman of Down Warren about the village's problem. All right, we're going to a new village. Oh, let's look in here. 
when we leave. Witcher is not quite the devils you thought. A conviction has arisen amongst both mages and the hoipoloi that witchers barely rise a hair's breadth above animals, that they are deformed and bloodthirsty mutants, and that in slaking this thirst they do not limit themselves to the fluids of monsters. Meanwhile, the research and observations of Virgil of Bonard paint an entirely different picture of the cast. Of course, it is an indisputable fact that the mutations witchers undergo influence their temperament, immune system, strength, and endurance. Yet one cannot consider them unthinkable beings forged only for killing as a result. In fact, witchers cultivate a unique culture, a specialized body of knowledge, an effective training system, and even a code of honor. They know an incredible amount about the effects of ingesting various organic and inorganic substances, and also a small amount, but nevertheless something, about the fundamentals of magic, by which I mean the simple spells they call signs. On the surface, the witchers appear to be a homogenous social entity, but in truth, their fighting styles, training regimens, and worldviews differ significantly depending upon the school to which they adhere. The best known witcher schools on the continent are the schools of the wolf, the school of the bear, the school of the griffin, the school of the viper, and the school of the cat. And my evening with a vampire. You will no doubt call me a liar, a cheat, and a madman. You will shake your head in pity and snort in disbelief, but I promise you, I swear on all the gods, everything which you shall read in the pages to follow is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I met the vampire of which I write years ago, in an inn in Beauclair. He introduced himself to me as Regis, and said he was a barber and a medic. Since he looked in every aspect like a mortal man, I might never have even suspected his true nature. Had not a fire broken out shortly thereafter in the establishment in which we were residing. This Regis, if that truly was his name, stood completely untouched by the flames, whereas my own clothing quickly caught fire. The vampire carried me out of the burning inn, saving my life from certain death, then treated my numerous wounds. At first, Regis refused to answer my query as to how he had miraculously survived the furnace-like temperatures inside the burning inn without so much as a scratch on his body or a hair singed on his head. Eventually, however, he must have sensed I was a man of the world, one who would not jump to hasty judgments based on appearance or species, and revealed his identity, along with a great number of highly interesting facts. According to Regis, not all vampires are alike. This vast family contains both mindless catacans, flatters, and Ekamaras, who in form resemble overgrown bats far more than humans, as well as Alps and Bruxa, who look remarkably like comely maids. In addition to these, there are the even more powerful higher vampires to which genus belonged my unexpected acquaintance. Not, not even a witcher can discern a higher vampire from a mortal man. Contrary to popular belief, they cannot be killed by pounding aspen stakes into their chests, nor cutting off their heads, nor, as I can vouch for based on personal experience, by fire. They do not fear running water, garlic, or the symbols of any creed. It might be some consolation to learn a vampire's bite does not turn a human into one of their number, and they do not in any way need our blood in order to survive. To them, it is merely a delicacy in which they indulge from time to time, like men do with fine wine. Regis asked me to keep his tale to myself, but now, as I lay on my deathbed, I feel that I must share this secret knowledge, even if it means breaking my word to this most noble individual. <laughs> what a coward. Some vampire tells him his secret, and he waits till he's on his deathbed to, to reveal it. Alright, so we got entries for vampires now. Vampires are a thing in this world. So, we have... Vampires. Ekamaras. Bah, ain't nothing to fear. Ekamaras, why, they ain't nothing more than overgrown bats. Anonymous city guardsman's last words. <laughs> like other vampires, Ekamaras are not, despite what village gossip might say, undead humans. They are instead post-conjunction monsters who have no particular feelings about garlic, holy water, or religious symbols. Unlike their portrayals in ballads and legends, they look nothing like handsome, pale aristocrats with charming eastern accents. Though, like catacans or necorats, they do bear a strong resemblance to overgrown bats. They also do not suck blood from the necks of virgins with a delicate, kiss-like bite. They tear them to shreds using long, sharp claws and then slurp the splattered blood off the ground. Ekamaras are unusually cruel and exceptionally swift. They are able to quickly land blow after blow, capable of smashing even the best 
Mahakamon made armor into tiny shards. They should be fought with a silver sword, remembering that they can regenerate back health over time. One should thus never attempt to tire them out, or, gods forbid, wait for them to bleed to death. Instead, cut them down quick or cut them down as quickly as possible, and if possible, burn the body to ash and scatter it to the four winds. Curd Gamers, good to see you, my man. How are you? Uh, let's see, they're weak to Devil's Puffball. Interesting, the poison won't work on them. Vampire Oil, which I also have now, and Igni. And then there's Higher Vampires. That's more what I think of when I think Vampire. Min, the polite ones at least, would call me a monster. A blood-drinking freak. Emil Regis, Higher Vampire. Huh, that guy. Only a mutual thirst for blood links higher vampires to their distant and much more primitive cousins, Ekamaras, Alps, Katakans, and the like. Higher vampires are, in fact, much more similar to humans than to those bat-like blood slurpers. They not only resemble us in appearance, but also share our intelligence and behavioral patterns. This means they do not squat in distant forests or hide in the shadows. On the contrary, they are particularly fond of cities, where they live out deceivingly normal lives. Even witchers are not capable of recognizing them at once. For their medallions remain perfectly motionless in the presence of higher vampires. Yet all these similarities should not blind us to an essential difference. Unlike men, higher vampires are immortal. Those who have faced them in combat and survived can be counted on one hand. It is in a witcher's good fortune that higher vampires are extremely rare, and not all are dangerous to humans. Though they do have a taste for blood, they do not need to drink it to survive. Some higher vampires have renounced feeding on humans altogether and do no harm to anyone, but others give in to their desires. A witcher who braves fighting a higher vampire must bear in mind that he faces a monster endowed with incredible strength, one able to manipulate men and animals, turn invisible, and transform into a giant bat. And furthermore, one which it is nearly impossible to kill. In other words, even an experienced monster slayer should think twice before accepting a contract on one of these creatures, even if half a kingdom and a princess's hand is in the offing. Alright, so if we ever run across a higher vampire... We might be in for the fight of our lives. Be gone. You ought not to be here. Is the June pool over? Uh, no, the June pool is not over, but it's it's almost over. And yes, Final Fantasy has a pretty commanding lead at the moment. <laughs> throw garlic at him. He said they don't they don't care about garlic. They might just eat it. Alright, I don't need to fight a drowner, but if he messes with me, we'll take him down. Okay. I tried to be nice. I tried to be nice about this. You didn't have to die, but now you do. Some people made such a big deal about like hot king designs, but I just don't have any issue switching. I don't, I don't know why some people felt that that was necessary, but I'm switching fine. Now, if I could have a hot key for oils, that would be fantastic, because putting the oils on sucks. Bandits. Come on. Oh, you witch fucker. Witch oh, you're fucked. Some sort of bleeding on me. Get through that shield! How fun. Oh my god, what was that? 
And how is he not affected by it? Don't let him touch his breath. Get out of here. Oh, he shot me right as I was doing a counterattack. There we go. Oh, split him in half. Oh, you messed up now. I must have hit one of those barrels. I still don't know how he was completely unaffected. Almost side village over there. Anyways. Let's check this out. This is down. <clears throat> Jeez. Ah, this is down one. No. Crap in my throat. All right, so there's my my dude. I thought to him last. Announcement. Okay, we've seen this before. I steal all of the stuff. I have that read that from over here. Gnomish prankings. We already had that book though, apparently. Was that Balance and Hymns? Do I have this one? I do. I think this is about Yennefer and Geralt. Yeah. Got a merchant here. Let me, let me just look back here, Mr. Merchant. Don't worry about me. Just taking a look around. Apparently, you don't want me to take your goods, so I'll behave. Milk, freshly curdled milk. Eggs straight from the coop. Nary a trace of shit on them. <laughs> wow, what a selling. Show me what you sell. Alright, he's got basically nothing. Let's sell this stuff, though. We can have that and that. And that. And that. And all this crap. Can't use that. Oh. <laughs> I don't have enough. High enough level for a common weapon. That's a little weird. Not good enough for common stuff. I'm gonna run this guy out of out of coin, I think. 
Yeah. How about a card game? Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Prepare to be wrecked. Decoy, a fog, clear weather, blue stripes commando, spy. Wow, whole bunch of siege weapon rate. Let's go ahead and uh, we roll the fog. Oh, I got her. Nice. And I'll You know what? I'll go ahead and re-roll the clear weather. Hey, I got another melee dude. Nice draw. Alright, I'll start with the spy. You got a horn! And more siege? I think so. He went with the ghoul. Uh, let's make him play something strong. I'm gonna throw in my hero. <laughs> She's a 10. Straight 10. Alright, brought up the Plague Maiden. I'll go ahead and decoy her out. Oh, you can't decoy her! Crap! Well, I learned something new. Does not work on hero cards. Well, in that case, I guess we have to, like, actually play. That's okay, we can do that. A botchling! Those things are so gross. Right, play my two melee dudes. Boom. He's played a fiend. I'll play a horn. Well, actually, do I want to? Yeah, you know what I'll do? I'll play this. He goes with the griffin. I'll play a horn. I think I could even, can I decoy my horn or can I only decoy my dude? He passed. Let's see if I can decoy, I don't want to decoy the horn actually. I just want to get this guy back. Still smashed him. And I got plenty of firepower for the next round I'd say. Another one. I actually thought about decoying him, but I was like, I probably won't draw the third one. Come on. Put that in. Oh, I still have more cards. Jeez. Fighting Frost? Well, that's a little rude, but it shouldn't affect me too much. Oh, well, he's gonna fog too. Okay. I don't think that's really gonna help him. If he has rain, then we could potentially have a problem, but I don't think so. Apparently he's just sabotaging himself. <laughs> he's really sabotaging himself. What kind of move was that? Did he think I didn't have any siege? This was a royal beatdown. And of course, I'm gonna be that guy. We're gonna finish this turn. 55. I foresee the return of that guy. <laughs> Always Anubis. Always. Oh, we got a vampire, Garkin. Another for the monster deck. Oh, there it is. Vampire Garkin. Wow, that looks so weird. It's strange. Why are these guys monsters? I know why Yennefer's a monster. <laughs> I 
interesting. All right. Another person destroyed in Gwent. What's going on on our notice board? Wagon for sale. Hay rack wagon for sale. Original owner. Good condition. Hardly used. Captain Barn. Inquire with Medi. What's your work? Handicrafts from wicker and birch. Baskets, mats, and more. We use wicker both white and dyed with and without bark. Oh, wicker work, not witcher work. On request, we can also make furniture. Brooms and other such household necessity. No pots, of course. Price negotiable. Crops accepted most eagerly. Matrian daughters. We'll trade Centrin rugs for food. We'll trade ornate Centrin rugs three for food. Meat, preferably. Though I'll consider greens as well. New items never used. Ideal for decorating walls. Lovely fabric with linen warp. Meant as a dowry for my daughter, but the black ones did her in. So there'll never be no wedding. Geraldine. Geraldine. Furrier looking for work. Furrier and leather worker, 20 years at the table, willing to take on jobs large and small, fixing and creating apparel fine and rugged. Reliable and timely, we'll pick up the raw stuffs and deliver the finished wares with a smile. Bram Blackbird. Leather tanner, we'll flush and tan the hides of deer, wolves, and bears. Price negotiable, Robert. And contract, monster from the swamp. Anyone knows how to read? Read this and read it careful. So, so, bleh. I forgot how to talk. Anyone knows how to read, read this and read it careful so that it's known far and wide or at least throughout the whole village. Out in the bog by where we dig peat, there's a beast what feeds on men and spurts out deadly mists all around itself. If you're good with the sword and looking for coin, know that I'll pay and pay well for that beast's head. And to everyone else, stay out of that accursed bog if you value your lives. Don't say I didn't warn you. Less love. All right, contract from the swamp. Contract, swamp thing. Another new quest. This one's level 12. A mysterious fog that killed all who ventured into it had arisen near the village of Down Warren, inconveniently close to where Pete was being dug. Geralt decided to investigate this murderous mist and see if he couldn't put a stop to it. But not right now. All right, Elderman, I have come. I have the dagger. Greetings. What's bothering the villagers? Nice village. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Glad we understand each other. So you know who sent me. Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. The cutting? Maybe he means a uh, umbilical cord, and hopefully not something else. A certain young woman visited the Ladies of the Wood. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the Ladies of the Wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your question to the ladies, and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Valor. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once, a swineherd lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. Ever seen them? Ever meet the ladies of the wood? Never. They only shows themselves to the chosen. 
Perchance one day I too will be summoned. Let's get to the problem. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. More details. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gather to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. How long's it been like this? When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, twas a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Geez, three years and they still worship them? I mean, I guess they don't have much else to do, but still. I'll look around. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the whispering hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Find out what's killing villagers from Dunwarn. Or Downwarn. All right, now where is it taking us? It's taking us down the, oh. It's kind of close to where we were. I want to check out this uh, little group of houses too. We'll leave that for later. What's going on over here? And I think that's where the bandits were. Or were they over there? We'll check that out too. That might've been where I was, might not have been. I think that was where I was. Yeah, we've been there. We've not been here, though. What's this place? What is that? Is that a ghoul? What are you? Owl ghoul crap. Well, I have killed these. They're not easy. Let's get some necrophage oil. Maybe I can get him before he gets the spikes out. Oh yeah, tear into him. No spikes for you. Ha ha ha. No spikes for you. Even the singers were confused. Like, wait a minute. We just started. We're already done? It's supposed to be an epic fight. Oh, I keep, I forgot to look at the, I, I think I'd seen the bestiary entry for Al Ghuls long ago, but I wasn't fighting them at the time. Is there any useful information here? An Al Ghul is basically a Bardar school. Yarpin, Zigrin, Dwarven warrior. Al Ghuls differ from normal ghouls in size, strength, color, and most importantly, intelligence, whereas ghouls and graviers are primitive creatures unfit to plan even the simplest ambush. Al Ghuls and their kindred, such as scimitars, are capable of forethought and are thus much more dangerous. Right, weak to Axie. I might have to try Axie on them, I don't know. 
what that could possibly do, but it does something apparently. Seeing anything. Must be getting close. It's not the spot, is it? No. Those are just wolves. Looks like rain. Looks like it. Alright, this. It's further than I remembered. Okay. Ah, oh, there was something on the way. You know what? Curiosity. I gotta check. I gotta check. What is going on over here? Guarded treasure, what do we got? Oh, just freaking hag. No big deal. That's it? Just one? Bring it, water hag, let's go. That's all you got? Come on. The uh, heavy attack seems to work on them. That's the first time I've like really seen a noticeable difference. Oh god, I can't see at all. Point it up. Yeah, heavy attack on them like really stuns them. It's actually really good. Can't do it forever though. Hot take, that isn't mud. I, I, I say it's mud to make myself feel better about whatever is covering me. Probably poop. Formula for vermilion. Axman's boots, cured leather, dark steel plate. Yeah, cool. Glad I came out here. The detour was worth it. Well, I have not on. fought a wolf in a while. Let's see how this goes. Oh, too easy. That used to be a pain. Apparently not so bad now. This one's a higher level to ward. Didn't matter. Did not matter. Oh, you want some of this? Bad mistake. Wow, he did like zero damage to me. Chop him up. Alright, too easy. I'm becoming a much more respectable witcher. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Fang bites. Vampire? Hope not. 
I feel like I'm not quite prepared for a vampire. in combat with something else but I don't see it. The ancient oak. Cave entrance, maybe? Oh, what's that? Oh, fast shot. Hold time for my. Hi, wolf. You're dead. find something over here. It's not a big search area. What do you want? Right, let me do a wider circle. Maybe it is a cave and it's telling me to find the cave to get in there. Probably. Medallion's humming. Place, Place of power. Place. It's gotta be. Alright, I'm gonna assume this is the entrance to. Werewolf! Hello, werewolf. If Siri can do it, I can do it. Okay, apparently, Siri's pretty good. Because <laughs> these things are hard to hit. Axie. Heavy attack! Come on. Ooh. They're all doing work. Well, that blood coming up. Jeez. Now. No, don't you do that. Bad. No healing. A 
an ability point. Not that I really need them. All right, here we go. I found the entrance. Something very nasty in there. Hello, chest. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hey, Carol. Come on now. There we go. Algul decoction. Good. Enhanced beast oil, eh? That could be good. Why was I attacked? I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt. For I defy them. Who are you? Who are you? What do you know about the crones? You must know the crones pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. Why did they kill you? Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. You claim I can free you. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can't be a gale. A gallop unchained. I shall save them. Only I can. The kids in the clearing are in danger? Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to our ceremony. They shall all die. Let them be saved. The crones. What do you know about them? What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. Hmm. So this thing is 
killing any human that comes close. But claims to want to save these kids and somehow knows that they've been taken somewhere. I don't know, I'm gonna pull this one. I'm gonna pull this one. I'm a little hesitant to to trust this pineapple. But it's not like the crones are exactly uh, trustworthy. One second, adding in the options for the poll. The third one might not be a real choice, but I'm adding it anyway. If I think it over, maybe I could talk to more people and get more information. I hate pineapples, don't have them. Alright, I am ending the poll now. It seems like you guys were kind of in the same place that I was. Like, I don't know if I believe this pineapple. Kind of weird that you've been killing people and then claim you want to save people. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you're evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dead. Then you will rise. All the powers of nature. Oh. I think we made the right choice based on this response. He tried to manipulate us. Take the heart. Yes, I can. All right, my swords seem better days. Quest completed! The Whispering Hillock. Oh, is that a separate quest? Oh my god. They added another quest I didn't even realize. Alright, so if we go to our completed quests... Where was it? The Whispering Hillock. Something about life in dreary backwoods settlements leads their inhabitants to hide the truth with misleading names. This takes the form of both Hyperbole, a clump of bear trees called Dragon Spike Forest, or a hole in the ground two paces deep named the Chasm of Eternity. An understatement, a horrid massacre commonly referred to as the Incident. Velen fit the mold in this regard, as Geralt learned while he wandered through, through it in search of Ciri. There he encountered a trio of highly suspicious magical sisters called the Ladies of the Wood, who directed him to a clump of bogside huts known as Downworn. Geralt was to solve their problem. A rash of mysterious murders. He spoke to the Ilderman and learned that the evil power behind the killings dwelled in the Whispering Hillock, wherever else. The truth hidden under the Whispering Hillock, a woman's spirit. A woman? I thought that was a dude. <laughs> a woman's spirit imprisoned in a cave within it. Geralt concluded this foul being was responsible for murdering the inhabitants of Down Warren, and so destroyed its heart, loosening its last grasp on our world. We'll see if I can repair my sword at town, and if not, then I'll use one of my repair kits. Although, I think that's my steel sword. I'm less worried about that one, but I have the kits. May as well use them. Alright, was there more to this place? 
like there might be. Let's see. Ah, that's world map. That's no way. All right, hold on. So I came. Oh wait, that's just open up. So I came from this way, right? Yeah. Okay, this opened up too, and then I took that way. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. So, back to down war. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, the Elderman's here? Wait, what? Apparently, the Elderman came here. Alright, well, I guess that was convenient of him. I thought nobody comes here because they're afraid of death. But now they're here. the heck? Oh, is that the werewolf I killed? Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? The spirit had possessed the tree, destroyed something, not sure what. You don't want to know. The spirit had possessed the tree. An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? I destroyed the evil spirit. Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost. Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. Young man. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. 
But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You used me. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not spree, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. What do you want the kids for? What did you need the children for? We? We? They needed us? Our care. Where are they? They are far away. Their troubles are over. Why do you look different now? You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? You know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us and return for what you reject. They always come back. Tell me about the woman I seek. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Thin as a rail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. I don't believe you. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Where is she now? Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone supposed to be alive. We let beast in trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seed that would burst into flame.
as she sleep like a lamb. Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table's set. The cauldron bubbles. We cannot. You know she is meant for him. Imlareth will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. And plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. So freaking crazy. Well, then has no chance. I'll just take it all by myself. I don't need Geralt's help. I'm supposed to just be running. Oh, I'm supposed to be running. <laughs> I'm just killing everything. Like, man, they don't stop coming. I guess we can run. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. I won't let you get away with it. You tried to kill her. I can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. 
And if you find her, if the glory will die, you shall see you and some light. <laughs> all right well that didn't end well i think we lost all the kids and we helped them out but we did find anna Not sure that went so great. And Gran was Anna. Alright, we had so many quest updates with that. Jeez. Alright, let's see. Uh yeah, it did not go so well. Alright, so we got the Bruess. The crone known as Bruess was the middle of the three demonic sisters in terms of age, but the first in terms of size. Bruess was said to be a master concoctor of magical mixtures, and in the more ghastly legends, was said to know over a dozen different recipes for human soup. Uh, M. Lirith, I think we... I don't think we had this before. M. Lirith, a general of the Wild Hunt and a frequent guest in Geralt's nightmares, had been chasing Ciri for quite some time, striving to deliver her to his ruler, Eridan. This powerful and brutal warrior had fought in the countless battles and campaigns for conquest waged by An-El and other worlds. He prized physical confrontation above all else, seeking out direct bloody skirmishes where opponents pit their strength, agility, and training against each other in a contest to the death. Actually, isn't this the dude I fought in the Elven Mage's place? Maybe? Johnny! Uh... I know from personal experience that a good heart, noble reflexes, and the wrong word at the wrong time can get a fellow in all sorts of trouble. Johnny learned this as well when he tried to intercede on Grant's behalf with the crones and succeeded only in attracting their wrath. Now, was he... Wait, did we miss something? Did something happen to Johnny too? Did we screw up bad? Sad. We lost Johnny too. The ghost in the tree, the whispering hillock, if the world were not as it is, but as it should be. This name would denote a place of hidden nooks and lovers sharing heartfelt lies and hushed voices. Instead, it stood for danger and terror, for a place where wild animals driven by some mysterious power had killed many, an inhabitant of Downwarren. Geralt agreed to investigate the problem and soon discovered the animals were controlled by a spirit and trapped in a tree growing atop the hill. The spirit spoke to him in a, wo in a woman's voice and claimed to have once been a druidess who had kept watch over the Velen Grove until the crones murdered her and imprisoned her ghost in the tree. The forces of nature she had once served now protected her from the fiendish sisters' further designs. The unfortunate locals had died as collateral damage, for, the spirit attested, nature's wrath is unrestrainable and distinguishes not between unwary innocence and unwelcome ill-wishers. The spirit begged Geralt to lift her curse and free her from her torment. In exchange, she promised to rescue the orphans from the swamp clearing, who would otherwise face a cruel death at the hands of the crones. Yet, too much innocent blood had been spilt on the Whispering Hillock. Geralt did not believe the spirit's explanation and destroyed its cursed heart. In doing so, he expulsed it from this world for good. The Weaves, though the youngest of the three, of the three crones, the Weaves was not one jot less ugly or evil than her older sisters. It was she who wove their magic tapestries of human hair, gathered as tribute from the young children of nearby villages during their cutting ceremonies. These tapestries were how the worshippers of the Ladies of the Wood made contact with and paid homage to their deities. Wispess. The crones of Elan were not just old, they were literally ancient, having been around since the reign of the first human kings and possibly even since the coming of the elves. Of the three ghastly sisters, the Wispess was most ancient, or at least so claimed the swamp dwellers whispered legends. Whispered, for if they spoke too loudly, the crone would hear it, for she demanded tribute in the form of human ears, which she hung from trees and through which, using primeval magic, she heard all that happened in the swamp. Uh, and then Anna Stringer. Uh, do, 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 do. The situation grew even more entangled when Geralt discovered that after fleeing Crow's Perch, Anna had been taken captive by some gigantic beast, 
who carried her off into the darkness. As if that weren't horror enough, eyewitness, te or eyewitness testimony claimed her hands had burned with strange glowing symbols shortly before this. Perhaps this was precisely what the talisman Anna had received from the Peller had meant to guard against? Tamara only deepened Geralt's sad understanding of her mother's situation. The woman had decided to, f or the women had decided to flee together because they had had enough of the Baron's drunken rages and beatings. Anna hated her husband so much that she was ready to do anything in order to be free of the man and the child he had put inside her. Geralt put the facts together and realized the old woman in the swamps was in fact Anna, the Baron's missing wife. He also learned that the signs on her hands were symbols of the pact she had made with the crones in order to get rid of her unwanted child. Geralt's suspicions were confirmed shortly thereafter. The curse afflicting the unfortunate woman was indeed the crone's doing. Anna had turned to the ghastly sisters because she did not wish to give birth to the Baron's child. The crones granted her wish in their own twisted way, with the curse which made the fetus inside her wither on the vine, taking Anna's life energy with it. In despair, she turned to the Peller, who made her a talisman to hamper the evil magic's influence. Anna had lost this during her fight with the Baron and was thus rendered defenseless against the crone's magic. After that, the worst was free to happen. The markings on her palms began to burn, and a fiend dragged her to the heart of the crookback, crookback bog, where she paid back her debt as the crone's slave. Sorella, let's see. It seemed that during Ciri's time in Velen, she got into a quarrel with some sort of witch or witches in the swamps. Geralt learned the truth of Ciri's time in the swamps from the mouths of the hideous crones themselves. Even Ciri, better able to hold her own than most anyone in existence, was lucky to escape with these powerful beings alive, or escape from these powerful beings alive and intact. All right, I think that's all of them. Oh, Gran. Uh, Gran bore strange marks on her hands that burned with living fire. In time, they proved to be signs of her indentured servitude to the crones. How exactly the old woman had come to be in their power, however, remained unknown. When Geralt saw the marks on the woman's hands, he quickly realized she must be the Bloody Baron's wife, though changed beyond all recognition by the hardship she had suffered. Geralt's first attempts to talk to her came to nothing. He was only able to break through her mistrust with the help of a godling named Johnny. A few words from the latter cons convinced Gran to help Geralt talk to the mysterious ladies of the wood. Bloody Baron. No. All right. Wow. That uh, didn't exactly turn out the way we wanted. Let's take a look at our quests. The family matters. When did this leave off? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, that's nothing new. Wild at heart. While muddling around the well-shaded village of Blackbow, Geralt... Oh, wait, that's not it. All right, well, anyways, um, we need to tell the Baron what we've learned and I oh and then I guess the other one's just complete at this point let's see <laughs> oh and there was the Siri one too Siri story fleeing the bog when Siri arrived in Velen she found herself in the very heart of the notorious crookback bog exhausted she sought she sought shelter but instead found herself in the clutches of three demonic sisters known to the local peasants as the ladies of the wood Siri quickly realized how poorly that name fit these bloodthirsty hags and fled. She escaped with her life by a hair's breadth, but still had a long and dangerous trek through the marshes ahead of her. Crookback Bog is a home or is home to more than its fair share of horrifying beasts, but none of them hold a candle to the general of the wild hunt who chased Siri now. Imlareth. For that was his name, had arrived on the crone's summons to take Siri back to his king. The young witcher was able to give her pursuer the slip, but the two foes were destined to meet again in the future. And then we also had Hunting a Witch. No, that was a different one. Ladies of the Wood. Hendrik had known but a portion of the truth, and his notes had led Geralt astray. Ciri had, in truth, come into conflict with the three crones of Crookback Bog. They had wanted to hand her over to one of the generals of the Wild Hunt named Imlareth, but Ciri escaped their clutches and fled the swamps before their vile plan could come to fruition. All right, well, looks like we're heading back 
to the Baron. Although while I'm over here, let's see. I am near that quest. I think that was the one. Maybe we'll do that one really quick since we're close. I think that was this one? The Fall of House Reardon? Ask Dolores about the monsters in a manner. Uh, maybe this isn't it, but I don't know. Where's this one? Oh, that's over in Lindenvale. Oh, we can fast travel there. Well, right, let's turn in the other one first. All right, let's go talk to the Bloody Baron. All right, so terrible happenings here. The kids are dead, apparently. Eaten by the prones. Uh, Anna... This... What happened to Anna again? Did she escape? Or is she just still in their servitude? I think Anna's still in their servitude. And Johnny appears to be dead based on the description. Or at least... Maybe they took his voice again. I don't know. Poor Johnny had something happen to him too. And nothing went well. It was all bad. It was all bad. Oh, look at down here. Who knows, maybe we'll find the kids down here. Or maybe we don't want to find the kids down here. Maybe we don't want that. What have we done? I know, right? I think we we pretty much did the worst things possible. I don't like these skeletons lying about. But they seem full-sized. I guess that's something. I think we looked in here. And so yeah, we went in here. All right. Well, that was uh, that was not exactly uh, not exactly what we wanted. But we we tried our best. Things don't always work out. I guess. All right, anyways, we'll try to purge that from memory and uh, go to Crow's Purge. People up top can repair my stuff. Got eyes like a cat. You catch mine too. What did I do to deserve your food? Oh, somebody doing spoilers? I'm not gonna read it, but I see who is, so you are in timeout. No spoilers! Spoil again and we kick you out. We, we ban you. Uh, 
All right. Uh, I would like a repair. Oh, she can't repair. Farewell. Take care now. How may I assist you? Need some armor. Okay, I need a repair on my silver sword. 103! Well, oh, got no choice. Okay, what else can I sell while I'm here? Do, 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 just sell all this. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Wait, that was this man. Oh no, that was shop. Okay. Uh, let's see. Probably some junk I've got. Oh, he doesn't buy junk. Well, alrighty then. Very well. So long. Young and supple. Ray down to a shapely ass. Sure. Wait, haven't I been up here before? What did I do to deserve your cool? I don't remember going up here. Maybe I didn't. Well, it's locked. Ever heard of preventive arse whooping? Alright, Baron. I have not great news. Unless your wife is here, which would also probably not be great news for her. I would think she would rejoin her daughter. I don't know what happened to her. I think she's still in their servitude. I mean, I don't, I didn't break her free of it, so I don't see how she would be. It's all bad news. Sorry. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? I know where your wife is. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell. Why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have we not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not going to be shy about it. Well, yes, that is what I think. But you still said you're a man of your word, so I get to say this. Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. So tell me how it was with you, really. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. Alright then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. So, your fault after all? Still seems like your fault to me. Will you let me finish? 
What happened then? All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. I found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Seems they call you bloody for a reason. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. <laughs> what did Anna say? Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years, but we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. <laughs> Seems you deserve each other. You're at fault. Can't say I care all that much about this. Seems you deserve each other. She wasn't exactly a saint. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. <laughs> I'm just so abrupt. <laughs> How'd she end up in the swamp? Hey! Woo! Level 9. Your wife is with the crones. Your wife is with the crones, as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folks speak of them. I thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? A fiend captured her. They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones. 
She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Hmm, do what you want or I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. Do what you want. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. Time you fulfilled your end. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were! Oh, he poisoned us. The trees! Oh, why do I have a steel weapon? We don't have any silver? Want some of this? Oh wow, he hurts. All right, we have to actually <laughs> play this safe. Come on, Elder Blood. Cure me or whatever. <laughs> he got stuck. <laughs> uh, this was, uh, no. Oh. Hurts. Hey, yeah. Forget. Oh, it's not gonna let me. All right, never mind. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, do I? Oh, no. I don't know how to get up there. Can I jump this? No. Uh, I'm I'm trying to help. Maybe this way? No. 
Wait, what was that? Why is there loot? I, I don't know why there's loot. Okay. Uh, maybe. Put your senses? No, she doesn't have any of those. Here, break this. Nope, can't. Alright, fine. Can't use the horse. I don't know. I'm trying to help. Maybe I can. Oh, maybe I'll go call for help. Oh, go to the top of the. No, go to the top of the tower and rescue the brand. Well, how? I can go away from it. What the heck? I would love to help. Oh, maybe up here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. We're even. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where? She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. How'd Siri get past the Redanian blockade? Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Siri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanian's mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Who was the letter to? No one. It was like this one. Show that to those pricks at the crossing, and I'll let you pass. This for me? See no reason to make things harder for you? You seek your child, this letter will help. Where did you get these letters? Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. Did a pack of crows just fly through? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was strange. 
Got to go to Novigrad. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you, which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you, but go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Wow. I would like to stop them. So, I'll go. You convinced me. I'll go. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Arnold's shit. Where'd he get the name? Uma. Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. <laughs> Quite the origin story. Doesn't look like a monster. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster. But my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing better to play for? Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, quit your carping, smart ass. Someone wagered him and we played. If anyone was desperate, it was the bugger's former master. Tell me how it happened. Funny story. How so? Went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk there were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Hmm. Funny indeed. Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a runny fart. Now you've got a court jester. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her.
family counselor. Find the Baron's wife and daughter. Oh, we have 8% of the trophies. That's surprising. Hey, we finished the quest! We got a new quest. Return to Crookback Bog. I'm so excited anytime I finish a quest. Alright, so we have our Novigrad quest of going to Triss's house, so I guess that's just where we have to go next. I guess we needed the pass to get there. So we have one now. Our completed quest. So we have series story maybe? Fleeing the body out of the sh out of the shadows? Oh, out of the shadows. Siri and the Baron were testing their metal in a horse race when a basilisk swooped down and put an end to the competition. The beast snatched the Baron up and carried him off to its nest. Siri, sparing no time for second thoughts, ran to his rescue. Siri knew that to save the Baron, she had to she had she had to act quickly and use her special abilities. She made a desperate decision and, in the blink of an eye, teleported herself next to the monster and swiftly cut off its head. This decision had consequences, however. Iridin could sense wherever Siri used her powers, meaning that even that short moment in which she revealed the strength lying dormant inside her was enough to alert the Wild Hunt. Wanting to save the area and her newfound friends from the destruction that would inevitably follow in the Red Rider's wake, Siri quickly abandoned Crow's perch and made her way to Novigrad, where she hoped to find Yennefer. All right, and then we also did Family Matters. Da, 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 do, to the end. Uh, upon hearing this, the Baron revealed another scrap of information about Ciri. He told Geralt of a certain afternoon where he and his retinue had decided to celebrate a successful hunt with a bit of horse racing. The race had come to an abrupt halt, however, when a basilisk attacked... Here, the Baron employed an old storyteller's trick, breaking his tail off at a crucial moment and announcing he would not utter another word until Geralt found his wife. At long last, after Geralt had fulfilled his part of the bargain and found the Baron's wife and daughter, the Lord of Crow's Perch relieved, relieved the suspense and finished his tale. He recounted how Ciri had been forced to use her powers to save the Baron's life. This had drawn the Wild Hunt's attention, so Ciri had no choice but to flee once more, this time to the free city of Novigrad. Geralt's search in Velen was at an end. All right, and then we also got side quest. Return to Crookback Bog. As you recall, the self-proclaimed Baron of Velen had asked Geralt to find his missing family. And so, ever a man of his word, find them he did. Tomorrow, the Baron's daughter, he found in Oxenfurt, where she had joined the witch hunters. As for Anna, Bar the Baron's wife, she had been kidnapped by the crones and made their slave in fulfillment of a bargain she had struck with them earlier. Hearing this, the Baron swore to free Anna with or without the Witcher's help, and set off to the place in the bog where Geralt had seen his wife. Alright, what are we gonna do now? I was gonna do that one quest. Where is it at? Let's do... The Fall of House Reardon. Ask Dolores about the monsters in her manor. I also wanna find that Uma guy at some point. It's that guy again. Oh god. There's no escaping that dude. I wonder actually I wonder if Uma's in here. I wanna find this Uma. Pam Pam Uma 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 Uma. Where would they keep Uma? Well that's my stash. What level is that relic gear available? Let's see. Eleven nine. Oh, 11. We're getting close. <gasps> hey, Gretka. Geralt! Farewell. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Well, you're doing better than those kids in the bog I didn't save. Uma? Where Uma? We wish to talk to Uma. Maybe he brought Uma with them. Maybe Uma is like an undeveloped well, crone. Bring out the help. gimp. Make the gimp sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? 
Oh, the Gimp. I wonder if that's who they're talking about. Uma, the Gimp. Where'd you come from? Mmm, they're probably talking about him. Alright, well, I guess we're not going to be able to get to talk to him. Oh, wait. Aha! Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I tried. No speaking to Uma for us. All right, so yeah, let's go talk to this Dolores lady. I remember this one. It's a uh, bunch of monsters inhabiting her family's manor or whatever. I'm begging. I'm innocent. I swear. Oi lads, if a man defies a pack solemnized, he'll be devoured by a wood snake, a vile dragon with seven heads and ten horns. They'll talk about that in the next village too. First the army's passed, then the pox. Now Almost probably in a secret hatch or something. Possibly. But I didn't see it. I'm thinking they brought Uma with them. Man well so I don't think me. they would have introduced Uma and just like left it there. I think Uma's gone with them. Got their asses whipped like an Elvirad whore. You surprised? They tried to dance with. All right, so. We are going to Lindenvale. Let's travel. Hello, Dolores. What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. I've changed my mind. <laughs> All right, what happened to him? What happened to him? A caller came one day, a drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offense, refused to bid me farewell. Years on, I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. The monster's in your house. I can kill them. I could take care of those monsters for you. Mm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure, savings really, they're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. God's keep you. All right, she turned out to be all right. Find the Rudin family manor. Do not hear the huntsman. That some fiend prowls the thickets. What am I to heat my hut with? Cow pats? We've had none of those since they stole the cattle. All right. So we are going. Oh, it's pretty far. Oh, it's right near Downwarn. All right, well, we'll check out some stuff on the way. Let's go here.
Uh, the bridge is seen better days. I need to Skyrim up those hills? I don't actually know what that means. What does it mean to Skyrim up the hills? Show me what you got. Bandits! Dang it, I just put that up. Come here, booty shorts. Witchcraft indeed. Oh, crap. That's quite what I wanted. There we go. <laughs> this guy's just stuck. How sad. Hi. You seem upset. Maybe we could talk this out? No? Alright. I tried to be nice. Wow, what a, what a place, what a way to die. <laughs> now his face is like undulating. I don't even know how to feel about this. Dude, what is going on with his head? <laughs> I feel like this is the start to Resident Evil. He's not gonna have one of those worms pop out. Split bolts relic. Oh, a new crossbow. I actually might want that. What is this crossbow? Oh, why does it give me stuff I can't use? Man, my crossbow is so bad. Well, I guess that one's not much better. All right. Oh, I could have blown that up. Oh, well. Too late now. Alright, a whole bunch of crossbow balls. That's nice. Uh, Alright, we'll hit this up. An abandoned site. What does that mean? Oh, renegades. Well, they're low level. I will say the uh, the levels of things are very confusing. It seems very random. Like, here's level 29s right next to like a village of level fives. It's like kind of all over the place. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it's a little awkward. Come on. This old man knows what he's doing. Sorry, old man. Ah, abandoned sites are the ones you clear out and they move in. Of course, I'll never get you know, any credit. Witcher, folk can say what they will. Me, I'll never forget what you did for us. Alright, he actually cares. Okay, cool. Well, then I feel good about Not what I looking do. good, I tell you. I also don't mind taking all this stuff. Especially from the corpses. No one even moved them out. That poor guy died before getting to eat his chicken sandwich. What 
What up, herbalist? What? Well, what are you offering? Got anything interesting? What is that? I want to pay Grave Hag decoction. I see. What will he buy for me? None of that stuff. Bought my junk. Nope. All right. See you later then. Useless. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Rip chicken sandwich. I just hope my mom finds some work. All right, you people enjoy. Oh, there's a merchant here. I'm good. He might. He might have some better stuff. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Did I ever kill the cows in white? Well, I don't know what the cows is. Considering I don't know what you're talking about, I'm gonna say no. Talisman is needed for a quest. Incense needed to complete a quest. Oh, I have so many items for quests. Oh, I drained him. He's out. All right. Jeez, look how much money I have. Farewell. Oh, the cows? No, I don't Me, think I, got I did. Cows? All right. Uh, I seem to have some sort of village here. Oh, we could go down there. Let's check out the village and then we'll go down there. Why not? Why not both? place abandoned? Seems to be. Uh, the pigs have taken over. This is pig, piglitin. I dub the piglitin. May the pig's reign be long and virtuous. Winds howling. Oh, we've got a quest. Save your gold or I'm begging you! Ain't a smidgen more. Let them gudgeon starve. We've got us a beast. The bandit's gone and Kiss took me again. your gold or a pack of fattened oinkers in the middle Not of nothing. There's a no way that a way towards. Save your gold or I'm begging you! Quite the banquet. Where'd you get all the meat? Found porkers wambling all about, so we roasted one of them. What a bite. Plenty to go round. I mean, these are bandits. For sure. I'll try a bit. Gladly. Hires, cut the gentleman a slice of pig neck. No, I won't stand for it. They done roasted your golder, the Wazax. Uh, him again. You want another bannikin? What's this about? They slaughtered your golder, cooked her up, Wazax. Same old song, nothing doing. Gotta wallop him. Caius, Jacob, grab him. Nay, Sean B. Help! Leave him alone or you'll regret it. He hasn't harmed you. Leave him alone. We go all chummy like, offer you roast hog, and you do this? 
No Grockle's gonna give us orders. Clobber him, lads! Alright. Oh, well, they're bandits anyway, I don't care. They were nice to me, but... That turned real quick. You'll never learn. You hurt? Uh, uh, me? But you go to... Oh, zones. They done cooked her. You must have really loved that pig. Who are you? I'm Geralt of Rivia. Me? I'm Yontek of... 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 of these parts. Why isn't there anyone else around? Live in this village alone? Me? They's home. Flap and Hegel and Bevon. Only Klaus and Igor are gone missing. Who are Klaus and Igor? Igor's the fool that eat grass. Klaus, he's the elder man. Every man knows Klaus. But where's they now? I dunno. Took by the piggy magic, must be. Piggy magic? The pigs are magic? They sure is. See for yourself. I'll look him over. Fine. I'll take a look at the pigs. Gerd, lush. Gerd. Quest updated. Fool's gold. Well, pigs weren't so magic for these fellas. Alright, what is this quest? Fool's gold. During his travels through Velen, Geralt survived many a bizarre adventure, but few more memorable than that which I will now recount. For who would have thought a routine stop in a village strangely empty, save a few bandits arguing with a local dunce, would end in such a curious fashion? The Witcher surely didn't, though he did have his suspicions. Use your Witcher's senses to examine the pigs in the village of Lurch. Alright, we're gonna do this. I've been successfully distracted because this is just so strange. It's so strange, I must find out what's going on with these supposed magical pigs. Ordinary pig by the looks of it, but my medallion's going wild. Yontek's right, they're enchanted. Alright, Yontek knew what he was talking about. Something is awry with these pigs. I'll talk to him in a moment. I'm gonna look around a little bit more. I mean, the real question is what happened to all the villagers? The pigs killed them all? Maybe they're people. Maybe they're people turned into pigs. Maybe that was like actually his wife or something. Maybe that's why he's so upset. Oh. No. Oh. That's my chance. There's a big freaking spider in here. Actually, hold on. Can I get him? He's in a weird spot. I hate spiders. Got him! Sorry, spider lovers. I'm somewhat of a witcher myself. See, Miss Chen's on my side. She knows. Huntsman spider. Oh my god, I know what a huntsman spider is. For one, you're not smashing one of those with a. <laughs> with anything less than like a baseball bat. And two, they're nowhere near where I live. But I've seen those things. They are massive. I've also seen Australians like just let them be right next to them with no issues whatsoever.
Oh, I'm definitely an arachnophobe. I've also... I also have some legitimate reason to be terrified of spiders, because I've been bitten by, uh, by a black widow, so... I know what they're capable of, or at least some of them. I've experienced it. Australians are built different. It's true. Alright, anyways. We've explored Pigville. Although we didn't check out over here. Can we get in here? Let me go talk to Yontek. Yontek? Aye. About the pigs. The pigs. They do seem to be magic. Aye. Cause, uh, cause all the, because of the sorcery. It done turned them all that way. So those pigs, they used to be humans? Aye. What did you think? Help them. Turn them back. I called it. What turned the people into pigs? What changed the people into pigs? Twere magic. I done gave Ego the key. He gathered them all. Off they went. What key is this? Listen, here. Opens the hog hut, that does. <laughs> the guy's look is creepy. <laughs> oh, man. What was... What's that clown movie? It looked like the, the clown. I can't think of his name right now. The, the, whatever, the, the, the clown from the horror movie. Where'd you get the key? Where'd you get the key? <laughs> I found it. Showed it to Igor, right? And he told all the folks to go. Then they was changed. Yeah, Pennywise, thank you. Yeah, he had like a Pennywise look to him for a second. Gotta look around this hog hut. Need to take a closer look at the, uh, hog hut. Where is it? Why, it's that away past the hill. You walk and walk. And then you're there. Got it? I'll find it. Thanks, Pennywise. Look at the map. That's gonna send me... Oh, wow. Way over there? What the heck? Alright. It's not... As close as I was expecting, but alright. Bandits, come here. Oh, nasty. All 
I don't think he's gonna be okay. So the hog hut is a cave. A bear? Okay, there's a bear in this hog hut. You, you, this poor guy, you didn't get him like any clothes whatsoever. Like not even a pair of pants. Does he even have shoes? All right, he's got some socks, I guess. <laughs> like when this guy gets a steel breastplate, this guy gets like socks. Guess those are technically shoes. I feel like you guys died just for the crime of treating your friend like that. I believe you can activate different finishers and outfits for main characters on the main menu options. Interesting. I don't really care about different... Well, outfits is strange because I'm just wearing what I'm wearing. So I don't why, know why that would switch. Anyways, uh, use my key. Young Tech's key fits after all. Ooh, magic. Oh, what's this? A lot of people came through here, and there was something heavy. Pig! Medallion's vibrating. Pig must be from the village, too. Wait, that sounded like... You understand me? Alright, let's try this. One oink for yes, two for no. Got it? Here, something to eat. Don't know how long you've been here, but you gotta be hungry. Got something tasty for you. Guess it was tasty. Let's talk. All right, let's talk. Uh, I thought it was one oink. These aren't these aren't one oink questions, Geralt. Who are you? One oink or two oink? Yontek mentioned that only the herbalist and the alderman were missing from the village. Makes you one of them. You the you the alderman? You Klaus, the village alderman? You're the local herbalist? Heard about you. Igor? Nice to meet you. I'm Geralt. What is this place? Know this place? Is this a tomb? This a tomb? Hmm. We in a temple? I'll look around. Wait here, I should look around. See you later. <laughs> Certainly been interesting. Grass stains on the shirt. And an herb sack underneath. Must be that herbalist Sigors. sense now bow before your pig god grave hag decoction I feel like I almost bought that very recently actually it was water hag I think Never mind. 
Manuscript page for Blizzard. anything over here but doesn't hurt to take a quick look oh there it is always something Carol, go up there there we go actually I can go back here I wonder if there's anything Oh, no, we can't quite. Alright, anyways, pig altar. One gold coin at the bottom. Gold must have been kept here. Talk to the pig. Let's talk. All right, let's talk. Where's the gold? There was gold here. Know what happened to it? <coughs> hmm. Gotta talk to Yontek about this. Think I understand what happened. I guess? Somebody stole the gold and they got cursed to be pigs? Think I know what happened. We're in a temple. And there was a tub full of gold here. Yontek found the key, showed it to the villagers, and they got greedy. Thing is, no one realized the gold might be protected by a curse. <laughs> to lift it, we gotta bring back the gold. I should ask Yontek, maybe he knows where it is. seems like a mean joke or else badly cast by someone who tried to do it with their feet all right we gotta go back to Yontek this would be a good time for him to be waiting outside but of course not still doesn't explain the bear maybe the bear was a guardian of the temple kind of weird, but I don't know. Maybe that's normal in this world. Alright, we're heading back. Roach, I need a lift. See, I do use Roach. Every once in a while. I just want to make sure Roach lives a long and healthy life, and I don't want to use Roach. Knackers! Alright, I'll fight them. It's been a while. I want some revenge on these stupid knackers. That's a bad way to start. That's more like it! Oh, that's so much better. So much better. Oh, wait, there's more over here? What's this? Roach, I need you to move here on top of it. Roach! Oh. Oh, it's a rabbit or something? Come on! Ugh. That's one thing I really don't like about riding on a roach. Any uneven terrain and roach can't handle it. Red Dead definitely improved that with horse riding. Although even on Red Dead it could get a little rough. 
Oh, what's going on here? Wolves! Alright, I'm on it. How can I hang your head from my side? Last one. Village is safe for now. Yontek? Aye. About the curse. Finally know what happened to the locals. They fell victim to a curse. Oh, so... Can you uncurse them? Yes, but I'll need your help. Oh. But, all right. You weren't cursed. Why? You weren't transformed like the other villagers. Gotta say, I'm curious why. Well, cause I didn't go with them. You didn't take any gold from the temple? Uh, nay. Why would I? Where's the gold? Some gold was stolen. That's what caused the curse. Know where the gold is? I done hid it. Well, you gotta return it. And all the... Villagers need to be there when you do. Oh. What? Get the gold, and I'll get the pigs together. Meet by the mill, and we'll all go to the hog hut. It ought to work. Well, he's gonna save them. I'll get the gold. Gotta herd the pigs there somehow. Axie, maybe? Gather all the cursed pigs? Oh my god, is this gonna be a nightmare? All right, let's see if this is miserable. Get moving towards the mill piggies. Oh good, I just have to, oh, they'll go on their own. All right. Thank God, I thought it was gonna be like a Zelda quest. <laughs> Run around chasing pigs. Time to go, Porker. Gotta move on. Yontek, you're supposed to be getting the gold. I'm on pigs. You're on gold. Or is that... Is he holding the gold? No, he's just freaking wasting time. You better be ready when these pigs are ready. He's all here, except for Igor. Igor's waiting for us. Remember, once we're there, put the gold back where it was. You get the pigs. I'll do the carrying and dropping off. Let's go. Let's go. Keep moving. Hurry it up. Oh, they're totally going to get attacked. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to play defense. Maybe Igni would be a bad idea, but we're going to try it. Actually, we'll do it. Come on, biggies. Let's go. Move it. Now, don't split up. I can't defend two at once. Okay, good. Oh, these wolves are going to be hungry. Go, go, move. Quinn now. I'm ready. Keep moving. Hurry it up. Let's go, piggies. I know you're actually people. So you should be able to handle a line. Let's Crap, go. Here we go. Move it. All right, here we go. Let's dance. 
Not touching the piggies. Protect them. De defend them. What I'm doing? What? I'm not hurting them. I killed them all. They're fine. I even took some hits for them. They owe me for that. That's extra pay. What's this? Rabbit pelt. Alright, we got all nine pigs. Keep moving. Hurry it up. Let's get... Let's see. Uh, let's get a bomb. Grape shot bomb. There we go. Ways off. Ah, wait. Myself again, thank you. It's too early for joy. We need a head count of human heads. For almost all of us. Thank you, white one. Didn't do it alone. This dummy behind me did something. Thank Yontek. He helped me a lot. But it were Yontek brought us the key. Must have known the goat was cursed. He didn't want to go with us. But I didn't. It was Igor. Igor wanted. Won't get out of this dung breath. Get him. Help me. Won't let you hurt him. First one to raise a hand against Yontek loses it. No, no. We was just. Freaks likely to gut us. Let's go from here quick. Ooh. Thanks. Probably shouldn't go back to the village. Could end badly for you. Need to find another place for yourself. Oh, right. Whatever that means. Godspeed now. So, I helped turn these people back to human. And within three seconds, they're calling me a freak. <sighs> Plus, Yontek's dead, so I don't even know why I tried to to help him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that dude. As soon as I'm not around. Alright, well that was a weird quest. What's that? Uh, that was a weird quest. I saved some villagers from being pigs and they really didn't seem to care. Oh, yeah, th thanks, I guess. I mean, I guess you helped us. Alright, I'm gonna guess that's a bustling place now? Lurch? Oh, Roach is chilling there. Like, was that a horse bender? Never mind. Now, what is that? A hidden treasure. Let's see. Um. Cool. Well, I feel like tonight I actually made a little bit of progress. Uh, when we pick up on the next stream, I want to jump back on this one. The fall of the house of Reardon. So let me go ahead and track that now. And I'll go ahead and save. I'll write that. Uh, but yeah, I, f I feel like I actually made some progress tonight. 
We did a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Let me re well, I guess we didn't quite do as much as I thought, but I, I felt like it. Uh, so we went down there, we went to Lindenvale, and then through there, and we went to the Orphans of Crookback Bog, and we did that quest about as terribly as you possibly could, and then we went to Down Warren, well, I guess Down Warren, and then down, and then back, and then, yeah, I guess I really didn't do that much when you kind of zoom out again. <laughs> It felt like it. I felt like I had done more, but, you know, in terms of, like, area explored, not a ton, actually. Just a, just a little bit here and there. Yeah, never mind. I thought I'd done a lot more than I actually did. But regardless, progress! You know, this is the first area. We're, we're getting there, sort of. Not really. Still a lot left everywhere. But we're, uh, we're, we're slowly carving it out. We'll see uh, how much progress we make on the, on the next stream. Uh, I saved. I think we're good there. Uh, so, yeah. That's it for tonight. Tomorrow night, we'll be playing Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, Thursday, there is no stream. Friday, possibly no stream. Uh, but if there is a stream... It'll be Assassin's Creed 3 Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Same for Saturday and Sunday's streams. No guarantees. Uh, but if there is a stream, uh, Saturday will be The Witcher. And Sunday will be GTA Online. Thank you all for coming. I hope you had fun. And I will see... What the heck? I'm not going to get attacked by wolves right at the end, am I? No, they were smart enough to leave. All right, uh, thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun, and I will see you all 